Hey everybody, Matthew here at Just a Little Media showing you another tutorial on how to do luxury or interior design photo shoots, um, something that's a little bit better than HDR photography and or one flash photography. So let's get right into it. Here we are with a uh, living room that I'm shooting for a company called Direct Interiors. And in this particular shot, we did a couple of compositions. This is the one um, that the client wanted, so this is what we're going to start with. So the first thing that we do is we always take an ambient shot. There is the ambient shot there. And then what I like to do is in the develop module, I will go down and basically just kind of tone down a little bit of the yellows that, that comes in. A little bit of the oranges, not much, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Now we go into the next shot and you're going to see me standing here on the right hand side. So that is a flashed shot and that is to help create this left side of the image that we're going to use. Then this shot here is to create the shadows that happen on the right side of this image. Then we do one that's basically overhead directly above. And if this was for real estate, this is fine. You can get, get away with this, but it's very flashy. There's a lot of uh, front flash parts. It doesn't look like the lighting's coming in from here. A lot of harsh shots on this wood door opening. So this is not really ideally what you want to deliver for an interior designer or um, anything else. So here is just another angle from another corner of a flash shot. So we're going to take these five images and we're going to go ahead and right click, uh, edit, open as layers in Photoshop. And what I've done, I've already done it and open it. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. All right. So here we are. Let's open this up. Great, okay, so here's the first shot. That's our ambient, we're gonna turn that off. So the first one that we see here is me flashed right. So what I'd like to do is, oops. What I'd like to do is relabel, uh, flash right, flash left, pretty sure. Yep, flash left. And this is flash back left and flash back right. Now normally you don't really have to do left and right side, meaning flash here and a flash here, but I just did because I had a beam that was kind of right directly above me, so I'm not sure how that was going to uh, affect um, the image. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much start with uh, one of these layers here. Uh, we're gonna keep this as the base. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take this, we're gonna go ahead and take the control and add layer mask, click on that. Clicked on it one too many times. Okay, so there it is there. Now from this position here, you can do it a couple of ways. I like to personally kind of get my brush tool and decide what I want and what I don't want. I turn this to black, because I wanna basically take myself out. Um, or you can use a gradient tool. And that's another option you can go with over here and just go across. And that will take out, you can see a little bit of me still here. So you I mean you can keep doing this until basically you're gone. And there's not all of it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And you can see up here, oops, let's go back. One thing you always wanna make sure is that your brush is just down so that you're not taking a lot of it. Okay, so we're gonna take basically everything on this right side is gonna go like that. Okay, so that was basically for this left side flash. Okay, now we're not seeing much of a change here. We're not seeing much of a change here on the left side because, I'll show you now. What you want to do is change this to light mode, uh, so we're luminosity. Change that back. There it is. Okay, so it's very subtle. Very, there's not a lot, but you can notice here on the right hand side. This couch, there's it's really bright here from the flash that's here, a little bit up in this side over here. So we're just gonna tone that down, change it. 
the other thing that we want to do, this shadow obviously shows that the flash is behind us. So that's going to get affected once we flip to the other side. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to take this and now we're going to show you doing it the other way. So doing it the other way, I'm going to take my brush. Again, I'm at 13%. I'm going to go ahead and start brushing myself out. So by doing it this way, you get to actually see the parts that you're taking out, which is obviously me. Okay, so we're gonna now increase this brush. That way we really get rid of. Okay. So now what that's done, now we can tone this down a little bit. There it is. So what this has done, take a look at the right side. You see how in the table along here on the bottom, you're looking at this right side. Look at the couch, the shadows, the chandelier, the, sorry, the lamp that's over here. You can see all of that looks now like the shadows are coming from the other direction. Okay. Now this one here really hasn't done anything, and that is because I made a mistake. So let's get rid of that. Delete. It's not working the way I want it to. So we're going to go ahead and now this time I'm going to press Alt Option. And I'm going to go the other direction. And I'm going to change this to white. And I'm going to paint in. Not paint out. I'm going to paint in what I want. So in this case, there it is there. That's what we want. Okay. Perfect. There we go. So now take a look at that. So there's the left side, okay, and there's the right side. So shadow directions are so important. We're changing all the shadow directions, which is very important. So that is uh, almost done. <clears throat> I don't like a lot of this harsh spot on the left <coughs> and the shadow that you can see on the wall here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into the ambient shot. Oh, sorry guys, one last thing. Don't forget to change this to luminosity right there. So we're only affecting the brightness and the change. All right. So you can either do um, luminosity, see how that works, or I like to do light mode. Uh, that one doesn't work. So I'm going to go back to luminosity and that one works. Okay. Perfect. And that's the left side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now with this is I'm going to tone this down to about 50%. And I'm going to, same thing, I'll press Alt. And I'm going to brush in what I want. So this left wall to me was a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to tone. There we go. And I'm going to tone this down just a little. So we're going to keep the shadows there a little bit, but obviously not that much. Now the other cool part about using luminosity is you can actually use this for your light fixtures. Tone down that part. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. All right, so let's go ahead and flatten this image. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and save it. We're going to bring it back into Lightroom. Okay. There we are. Sorry for the sniffle, guys. Just uh, seem to be fighting a little bit of a cold. Okay, so now we're back into uh, Lightroom. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the brush. I'm going to bring the brush down to minus 100, and there's a reason why. I want to take away, oops, I want to take away this blue cast that's kind of coming through on this white wall. Okay, other than that, that's pretty much it. I should have did that before, but 
Now we're going to drop the shadows. We're going to bring down the highlights. We're going to bring up the clarity. We're going to definitely bring up the saturation on this. We want these golds and um, whatnot to stand out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, our color balance, we I already had it set before. I forgot to mention that, but you know, if we did it on auto, it's not good. You can do um, as shot is because what it is. But if I wanted to warm it up a little bit, I can just kind of change that to maybe about plus plus three looks good. Okay, and very little sharpening, very little noise reduction. We're going to do our Sony adjustment. We're going to do an auto. There we go. We, now I already had this lined up. I'm using a tilt shift lens, so there's not going to be a much al alignment issues that we're going to have. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So the client had asked me to make sure that we see the back of this chair. So we had to keep a little bit of this chair in um, and basically focus on the foreground, uh, sorry, on the uh, couch and the layout and whatnot. So I don't care too much about the chandelier or the ceiling, um, but I do care about seeing a little bit of this end table, the couch, the little bit of light fixtures and, uh, and whatnot. So this is pretty much done. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So that's just a kind of quick tip tutorial on how I do some of my interior real estate photography. Hope that helps you guys. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, subscribe, smash that like button, and please share this if you feel that uh, it's worthy enough. Thanks, guys. Take care and have a great day.